It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. Ha <laughs> Damn, that was close! Innkeep! Vodka! Triss Merigold! Lice eat me, but you are a treat to behold. Uh, just a little pale. Magic takes its toll, but I'll be alright. Good to see you in your beard again. Can somebody tell me what happened? You set off a month ago for Zoltan's wedding. That got fucked. There will be no wedding. Did you hear about Foltest? Rumors travel faster than the wind. Winds and rumors. I want to know the truth. I want to know how Foltis died. And the dragon, was there really one there? And who rules Temeria now? Dandelion, calm down. You'll choke on your liquor. No wedding, Zoltan. Ha! <laughs> the Bregan Riggs broke off the engagement because some limp prick put it about that I joined the uprising in Vizima. My would-be popper law refused to let a rebel firebrand join the family. And keep, where's our drink? It was like this. We got to Mahakam a week after the Grand Master died. Bought Zoltan an absolutely grand doublet, a pair of Garibaldi Krakows, and as a gift for Eudora, a jade stone as big as my fist. You were broke as a joke by the time Dandelion threw me a bachelor party at an establishment called the Tight Lane. Next day, we went over to the Breckenrigs. They welcomed us in, sat us down, and proceeded to discuss the superiority of Mahakaman mining know-how over any other. And that went on until dinner. Just when I thought I'd learned more than I ever wanted to know about mining, they served the soup. You could have held a pen drop. Old Breckenrig rose and he says, A real dwarf works a mine, not chases fame on the battlefield. You'll never believe this, Geralt, but they served duck blood soup. It was as black as tar. They must have dropped lumps of coal into the pot. Eat, Breckenrig says, then proceeded to slop two full balls of the shite. Old goat. Hope his mind caves in on his head. Lorido said you're working with the Scoia'tael, Zoltan. I have done many things in my life, Geralt, but I have never stooped to banditry. The Scoia'tael don't consider themselves bandits. But I am no Scoia'tael. Since when have you worked for Roach? Hey! Nobody said a word when you went out to save Temeria from the Grand Master and his mutants. Relax, Dandelion. I was just asking. Do what you want. You're an adult, kind of. <laughs> that wasn't very supportive. Laugh away. At least I decided to do something constructive. You used to spy for Redania. Now you're spying for Temeria. Some might call you a traitor. Ever tried to live off of poetry alone? The truth is, I'm a citizen of the world. As long as I don't serve Emperor Emir, I'm not doing any harm. Leave him be, Geralt. You play the spy a bit, get bored and drop it. You know how he is. The dragon... well, the dragon appeared and that's all I know. But where did the Lavalettes get a dragon? We heard it fought on their side, huge as a barn, they say. Dragons don't usually take sides. Maybe its lair was nearby and it just felt threatened. If you hadn't driven it off, Foltis might not have taken the castle. Maybe. We'll never know for sure. Triss, you're the expert on Temeria. Tell us who's in charge now. It's chaotic and getting worse. The old families are fighting for supremacy, no holds barred. Baron Kimbolt and Count Merivale, I bet. Among others. After the assassination, while Geralt was in the dungeon, the Lords convened in a field near Lavalette Castle to choose a new ruler. Three days they debated, and it looked more like a bazaar than a meeting of nobles. Except the trade was in court and ministry positions, spheres of influence, royal privileges. Ha! <laughs> Humans! In spite of several duels and two poisonings, no king was chosen. Civil war was in the air. Did they ultimately resolve anything? No. It ended as usual. Sadly, John Natalis remains our only hope. Ah, the victor at Brenna, and Foltest's most tried and true field commander. Hmm. And during the deliberations, he was several days' march from Lavalette Lands, with an additional 2,000 armed men in tow. He's to keep the peace until a rightful monarch is chosen. He could find that ruling is to his liking. Natalis is a soldier at heart. He's not suited to rule, and I don't believe he even wants to. 
He's got the army behind him. Which is why he can guarantee peace. Why, a tenuous one, sure, but that's always better than civil war. Besides which, he's deeply in debt to a dwarven bank in which Philippa Eilhart as sorceress holds a significant stake. Where were the mages? Aye, where were the grey eminences of this world when they were truly needed? They weren't invited, and neither was I. But if not for their intervention, or rather that of a few influential sorceresses, Baron Kimball would have taken the throne. I was invited to sing at his court once. Afterwards, he refused to pay me, and the food was awful. No way I'll stay in Temeria if he's crowned. I think I've heard enough about politics. Foltest's killer lay in wait in the tower, where the Lavalettes had hidden the royal bastards. He was well informed. Wait a minute. What were you doing there? I was protecting the king. After the first attempt, Foltest began treating me as his lucky charm. He ordered me to be at his side during the battle. The dragon separated us from the rest of the army. The killer disguised himself as a monk, a blind one at that. He let Foltest greet his children, waited until I had walked off, then cut the king's throat from ear to ear. How did he flee? Jumped out a window into the river below. Yorvith Skoyatel were waiting in a boat. It was planned. And you're chasing him because he murdered the king? I was accused of the murder. I need to clear my name. Besides, I looked him in the eye before he escaped. He's a witcher. Then some brave Temerian soldiers showed up, piled on me, and knocked me out. Save yourselves, good folk! The beast attacks! We better get out there. Someone's casting spells. What sort of sorceress are you? A lot of good you did. Can't you hear me? Why didn't you help him? He's alive, isn't he? The beast nearly pulled him in the water while you stood staring like a calf at a shit-covered clover. Watch your words. Where's this beast? Ask her. Geralt. Ah, I guess we knew each other. Oh, look here. Birds of a feather. Let's say... I've heard of you. Master Witcher, this is foolish. The beast near pulled Sozek into the depths, and you're simply chatting with this damsel. Sozek's alive, and nowhere near the depths. The monster's vanished without a trace. You best take her seriously, lest you vanish without a trace. I'm tired of your whining. Get out of here. Ah, oh, as ever. It's the common folk that get ploughed. Come on, lads! I apologize for interrupting, but I am Louis Merce, and I am chief person in charge of all matters related to monster hunting in Flotsam. It is in this capacity that I must inquire if you're willing to attempt to resolve the problem of our so-called Cairo, the beast that now blocks all trade traffic on the river. So, Witcher, are we willing? I usually work alone. I was here first, and I'll not relinquish this contract. My way or the highway, as the locals put it. Fine. Your way it is. You must contact the merchants on the waterfront as regards any rewards. Madame de Tanserville has, I believe, already conducted some preliminary negotiations. That I have. In that case, don't let me keep you. Triss, how long must I wait for you to introduce us? Sheila de Tanserville, advisor to Queen Zulika of Kovir. Kovir's a long way north. True. I had my doubts if the Kran was worth the journey, but those were dispelled with what it showed today. Here to hunt down some ingredients? Triss Merigold, sharp as ever. You're thinking that... Troll eyes, ghoul venom, virgin's blood, 
all those disgusting marvels we take from dying species to throw into the cauldron at Sabbaths. Right, Triss? Absolutely. Virgins are a dying breed. Oh my. Your sense of humor seems to be intact too. But enough of these pleasantries. Tell me, Geralt. You saw the tentacle. What do you make of it all? The beast must be huge. Maybe inhabited one of the Pontar's tributaries before, hunting animals. Then it grew for some reason, and hunger drove it to seek fresh pastures. And on the Pontar it found trade barges burgeoning with obese, slow-moving merchants. But partly correct. Cedric claims the Cairan emerged from the northern swamps approximately one month past. Cedric? An elf. Formerly a Scoia'tael. Strange bird. But he knows quite a bit about the area and its living wonders. I need to look around, find out a few things. Hmm. An investigation. Witcher's rituals, extracting secrets and such. More or less. I'll talk to the merchants about the reward, pay Cedric a visit and get back to you. You'll find me at the inn. I've rented lodgings there. On the upper floor. You know the inn's also a horror house. Thanks for the warning. Going somewhere, friend? Say something, or did you just fart? Hey, Whitey. Why'd your hair go white? Ha! You got it coming. Ha! That's just bollocks. Welcome. Oh. Ahoy! Ever seen the river monster, the Karen? I have, but I'm not the talkative kind. Speak up. Monsters as big as a barn with giant tentacles. Snatches men from boat decks and cattle off the shore. It's slimy like a snail, but fast as a thirsty vampire. I don't know anything else!
so down. Flashbacks, Dandelion. What have you remembered? My own death. I saw that with my own eyes, as I've told you many times. Yennefer gave her life to save yours. I thought you might have remembered what happened afterwards. I mean, how the devil can you be here now? I hear you, I see you, you're breathing. I, I mean, you're just alive. Dandelion, I've had a flashback or two. I don't know everything yet. So, Mr. Master Spy, what's new in the world of politics? Bards singing about anything interesting these days? Edern's in trouble. Henselt and his great army are nearing the Pontar and will ford it and strike any day. Well, we haven't had a war in a long time. Like all little boys, he likes to play with his soldiers. But I don't think Kedwin will have an easy time of it. Edern's borders are guarded by Saskia the Dragon Slayer. Who's she? Some mercenary? A peasant girl and self-proclaimed commander of something called the Adernian Voluntary Militia. Fighting women and bards who play politics. These are strange times. I need information. Anything that could help me track down the Kingslayers. I only know gossip. Things folk have been saying since Demaven's death. People are throwing out blame left and right. One day it's the Elves, another the Nilfgaardians, then it's Rivians. Let me guess. The suspects also include a Zeracanian alchemist and a group of halflings. Bold theory, that. But the mob comes up with even better ones. Know what? Frankly, the most worrying effect of these assassinations is the chaos they've unleashed in people's minds. What do you mean? I mean chaos. People don't know what to think, who's good and who's evil. And these are tough times. Who knows what's going to happen? You gave Vernon a full report on Flotsam. Seen anything unusual around here? They've got some amazing women at the brothel. You should take a look. One of them. You know what I mean. A town like any other. It's got a harbor, an inn, and a stinking muddy river. That's what an ordinary man would say. But we poets also look into people's souls. And things are not good. I saw a robbery sanctioned by law. Town watchmen laughing as they confiscated goods, all the while talking about how they'd finally bring order to the town. I saw drunken thugs beat up an elf woman while no one even flinched. I know these things happen everywhere, but here, it's not motivated by hatred or misguided attempts at meeting out justice. People are driven by cold calculation. They're always looking for opportunities to get a little richer. I know you. I can see you're dying to ask me. What is it? All right, fess up. What happened to Foltest? Want to know the version that is yet to make it to Flotsam? The king died in mysterious circumstances. The Witcher Geralt, his sword covered in blood, was discovered standing over his corpse. Did you kill him? This'll stay between us, I promise. The killer escaped before I could get him. I'm being set up. So what are you gonna do? Run around swinging your sword, hoping the killer walks into range? I don't have to. The killer's in the forest with the Squiatel, and he knows I'm here. We'll find each other. Geralt, please don't do anything stupid. Don't stick your neck out. If Lorito finds out you were involved in Foltest's assassination... <sighs> What's going on, Geralt? A little town deep in the forest, terrorized by Scoyatel. You should be in your element, Roach. Flotsam isn't just any old town, Geralt. Temeria, Redania, Kedwin, and Edern. The largest kingdoms in the north. Know what they all have in common? The Pontar Valley. A strip of land they've been battling over for generations. Exactly. And here's Flotsam on the border between Temeria and Edern, with Kedwin lying in wait just the other side of the marshes. At the very edge of the Pontar Valley. Stuck in the middle like a candle up the arse. The North's most important trade routes meet here. Every caravan has to come through Flotsam, and anyone who wants to place their cargo on a boat on this section of the river has to bear Lorido in mind. They say Henselt of Kedwin has gathered an army and is heading for Vergen. The Pontar Valley will be on fire soon, while we, Geralt, are sitting in Flotsam, the gateway to the valley. I'd like to believe it's pure coincidence and the killer just followed the squirrels here. Naive to say the least, Witcher. 
We arrived in Flotsam, we saw the killer, we've pissed everyone off. What next? If the Kingslayer's in Yorvet's care, we'll have to get them both. If we go out into that forest to look for elves, all we'll find is our own death. We'll visit Laredo as invited. He may be a hick heading a bunch of imbeciles, but this is his territory and he could prove useful. How can the commander of a Temerian garrison just piss all over the commander of Foltest's special forces? The Blue Stripes aren't exactly popular among common folk, in case you hadn't noticed. Like anyone who does the dirty work. But Laredo's a soldier. The worst scum gets posted to dumpy border towns like this. Incompetent fools who show off their authority to a bunch of grimy peasants. So long, Roach. Good to see you, Zoltan. What are you doing so far from home? It's a dog's life, Geralt, I'll tell you that much. You work your fingers to the bone for six years, you listen to the tirades of that old tyrant Breckenrig, you buy jewels, then she breaks off the engagement. And there I was, learning a gavotte. Fuck it. Out of sight, out of mind. Farewell to Eudora, the forge in Novigrad, and all the world's Breckenrigs. I'm a plain merchant, and I've made my peace with that. Is there a good swordsmith or blacksmith here? There's a small smithy by the wall. Quite basic. The tools probably remember the conjunction of the spheres, but it'll do for weapon repairs. They also enhance swords with runes, and add ornamentation to armor. Just don't do anything that'll make you look like dandelion at the opening of a new brothel. You could also look in on some merchants. I don't think Laredo's robbed them of everything yet. How are you killing time in this hellhole? At present, polishing gems for Schiller de Tanserville. Requires precision, but it's well-paid work. Jewelry? Not quite. The sorceress is building a magical contraption. Spends her days staring at it. A regular magpie eyeing a copper. But I don't think she's getting anywhere with it. Got so enraged one time she dashed a vase against the wall. Some temperament for those sorceresses, I'm telling you. you know someone named Cedric? Know him? We drank each other under the table last Saturday. I barely made it home. Where do I find him? Oh, most times gazing at the forest from a tower near Lobbenden. Strange bird, that one. But a heavyweight when it comes to drink. Thanks. How are those biceps holding up, Sultan? Hard as a bull's bollocks. Arm wrestling's a dwarven pastime. We ought to try it sometime. <laughs> I'll arm wrestle you any time. Now, even. Show me those bulls bollocks, then. Easier to hack monsters than wrestle down the arm of a feisty dwarf, huh? <laughs> <laughs> 